Good morning, all of you boys and girls. As you're coming to the last day of your vacation Bible school this week, how wonderful it's been for you and for your families to join together at an independent Presbyterian church during this time of Bible study. And I know you've been learning about putting on the armor all the different clothes of uh, your belt and your shoes and your breastplate and your helmet of salvation. And today we're going to talk some about the helmet of salvation. You've learned about a story about Paul and Silas, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. I'm really more interested in this armor that we're called to wear. As Christians, we're given this armor because it, we have this sort of struggle in the world about trying to protect ourselves from things that might be uh, dangerous. And But if you notice that all of the armor that we're given is armor for defending ourselves. None of us as Christians are meant to have armor uh, that is uh, like guns or spears or tomahawks or bows and arrows. We're not supposed to have weapons. That's not part of our armor. All of our armor is defensive. It covers us to protect us, but not to hurt other people. And can you think of other ways that, um, uh, that we can hurt people besides just with guns and spears. And I think about words and how I've been hurt with words uh, and I've been, and I've hurt other people with words. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never kill me. That We used to say when I was a kid, but I've learned that words do almost kill us. They hurt us so bad when they're said by mean people or when we say mean things to other people. And so when we talk about these things we wear for protection, one of the things that uh, we're protected from are mean words uh, and mean thoughts. And so think about these, this belt and this breastplate and our shoes and our, and our helmet of salvation as a way to give us protection. And, and this helmet of salvation, I think, is wonderful. Uh, it, it means that... that Nothing can get in our heads that we think or it can take us to a bad place or to make us feel bad about ourselves. Uh, it, it protects us. It's kind of like a face mask that we wear, you know, now because of uh, where we are with the coronavirus. But this is like a, a face mask on our heads. And you can almost connect it to your ear, but it's an invisible face mask. Uh, on our heads. It's a helmet kind of a, a protection. And, and this helmet is, is a gift from God. And it, it's, in, it's what covers us. Uh, it protects us when we make mistakes. Uh, it, it, it reminds us when we start feeling like we're not good enough. It comforts us when we start getting afraid or scared. Uh, it it gives us protection against uh, our thinking bad thoughts about other people. And here's a really cool thing and why I love this whole idea of a helmet of salvation. Uh, if you've ever been baptized, and, and most of you have, or you've seen a baby or a young person or even an adult baptized, the preacher reaches into a bowl. Uh, it's called a font, but it's up in the sanctuary usually, but not always. And puts his hand in the bowl and says, Steve Goyer, you are a child of God, and I baptize you in the name of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. And I think that, that that's, that's the real sign of the helmet of salvation is that we've been baptized with, with this water uh, that's now really just like the helmet that we're talking about in class today. And, and knowing that we've been baptized, we know that we will always be God's child and nothing can ever take away from us being God's child. Nobody can tell us we're not. And, and we know for sure because we've been baptized that even when we, don't, when we don't live like we should live sometimes and make mistakes that we're forgiven, that none of us are bad enough, ever bad enough, uh, that God will not love us. And this helmet of baptism, I think, is more like what it means to have a helmet of salvation. So always remember 
no matter where you are or if you're lonely or if you're afraid or scared, remember we have this baptismal helmet of salvation that has been given to us as a, to prove that God is with us and loves us. Thank you, children and adults, for letting us come into your homes during this crazy time with video and, and how much, golly, how much we all miss being able to hug and hold each one of you during this time. That's one of the best things about Vacation Bible School is to, is to find hands of love and, and hands of respect uh, to, to use uh, to hold us and also to, uh, where we can hold other people. So uh, the best way I know to bring this Bible school to an end is for all the adults and all the children in your house uh, to come together when you have a chance and hug and hold each other and tell each other how much you love each other and how much you have uh, the, 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 their love in your heart and that you're there to help protect each other too. I, I thought it interesting, of course, when we talked about all of the things we wear to protect ourselves, there were no gloves. And I think there weren't gloves offered uh, in the Bible because they wanted our hands to be free to hold and to hug and to protect other people. That's what our hands are for. Never to hurt other people, never uh, to scare other people, but open hands to hold other people. Never fist hands uh, to hurt other people. Just holding people. That's, what, that's why our hands don't have uh, armor. They are meant to be free. So use your hands and remember always the helmet of salvation, which is reminded in our baptism that God loves us so much that it's even more than we can believe. God bless you all. And I'll see you later, hopefully somehow. Bye-bye.